This last year on Facebook, I put several studies that had to do with insulin. And what fascinated me was the amount of research that is showing how challenging insulin can be for our long-term future. Excess insulin is now associated with not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven types of cancers, but 16 different types of cancers. That was just research that came out this year. Not only is it associated with that, excess insulin is associated with Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and Huntington's disease. And a concomitant study showed that by lowering the insulin, or by fasting, it actually promoted the, promoted the growth of new nerve cells. And that was something that wasn't even considered possible when I was going through school. And now they're starting to see that that damage can be reversed. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the types of hormones that are secreted that benefit that damage. And finally, excess insulin, and this is the one that blows my mind, I cannot quite figure out how, is associated with increased mortality from any cause, including accidents. The risk is almost twice as great for those with high levels of insulin versus those with low levels. In other words, if you have a higher level of insulin, you're more likely to die than somebody who doesn't 